What if there was a first person movement shooter, but instead of guns, the weapon is your magic? I love the FPS genre, but let's be honest, recently all the FPS games that have been coming out have been pretty much feeling the same. It's really been making me bored of the genre, so I decided to go back and visit my previous favorite genre, MMOs. But after a while of playing some New World and some World of Warcraft, I realized why I always end up quitting MMOs, and mostly it's because they tend to suck, but I needed my dose of fantasy magic from somewhere, baby. But I also wanted to play an FPS game. Thus, Underhaunt was born. Now, this is my first real game I'm making, so going for an FPS MMO right off the rip, probably that's probably a stupid idea. So this first game is a part of a list of games I plan to make in the future, all taking place in the same universe, the universe of Argo. Which, if you are curious about that, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video talking about the history and lore of this world. Now, the very first thing I wanted to tackle was the movement. One of the main things I hate about FPS games nowadays is the fact that movement sucks in 90% of them. I much prefer something more like Apex. That is much more my speed. Huh? Huh? No? Speed? Movement? Get it? No? Okay. I love the movement in Apex because it feels very much like parkour and it's generally easy to execute but extremely difficult to master and implement, which is what I think makes for a good movement system or gameplay in general. So with that in mind, I started designing the movement and I let me tell you, it took a lot longer than I thought. About three months to be exact and actually I'm still kind of working on it let's be honest because it's not even polished yet but it took roughly three months to get the movement in the general direction of where I want it to be but it's still not done as I got some bug fixes to do but we're, we're getting there we're getting there at least now you can slide wall run wall bounce dash which I'm calling glides in the game because I wanted to make it sound different even though it's not really different from a dash at all plus it makes me feel like I'm smart even though I'm actually not the brightest you can jump into slides glide into slides wall climb and yeah you get the idea you can see why it took me a while to get this done though like I said it still needs some polish but we're, we're getting there we're getting there the next thing I needed to tackle is the gameplay loop and this is pretty much where I'm at now the end game goal down the road when I have more experience under my suspenders is to make an MMO with dungeon and PvP content let me restate that balanced PvP combat that is more like the competitive shooters we're used to and not like some games where all you do is run around with a new tube a grenade launcher getting kills thinking you're good <coughs> destiny but that entire bit is going to take a lot of technical skill and brains that I quite frankly don't have. So I wanted to do something that is much smaller in scope but still has traits of those types of games so I can get a good idea of how to execute it in the future. Plus I mean you know I don't have a lot of money and that's probably gonna cost like a stupid amount of money. So I decided to make a co-op extraction roguelike. I, I don't know I guess that's that guess that's what it is. The idea is that you go into one of the dungeons pew pew with your boys get loot get out without dying or else you lose your loot. Or once you've gathered enough loot to actually survive then kill a boss of that dungeon and move on to a different one. Three, you craft your talent builds, test different weapons and abilities, and gather materials to craft armor, weapons, or other equipment. This gameplay loop covers a lot of ground that I'll be touching in future games and allows me to practice some of these systems in a non-competitive environment. Now, I'll be honest, after reading that, I probably will have to cut the scope down a little bit more again for the first game because I really just want to get the whole process out. I want to release something. I need to get something out there. And then the next game could be added on to it. That type of process is what I'm going for here. Now, as far as the look and feel goes, well, I'll be honest with you. I'm not trying to make this first game an artistic masterpiece. There are some things I have to do custom since there aren't a lot of assets available for a magic FPS game, but I will be using assets from sources like the Unreal Marketplace because I want to get this game out as fast as possible so that I can just get that experience as an indie dev though I will say I am finding that I really enjoy animation and I think it's important to have really good animations for well, flavor so I decided to master animation in just seven days and if you want to see how click this video here okay love you bye